so dear engineers before starting our all procedure we'll go for a normal take i mean we'll go for a normal analysis and a normal design then we'll go for our next step okay so uh, i'll go for run analysis and uh okay after completing our analysis we'll go for a simple design and then we'll start a proper analysis and design so here we're seeing uh everything is okay okay and here on minimum deflation are showing 0.15 so this is not our main problem actually we'll go now for click here then select design combination and we have selected all of our design combination here okay now i'll go okay I start animation will use to see the actual performance of ray structure and uh, if you start animation then you may see uh, some criteria that will give you extra visualization or extra benefit to understand if there have any problem on your model so i'm going to stop that and now i'll go here and i'll click here start design or check otherwise simply if you click on it it will also start that so i'll click here and we load for some time okay so it will design our model perfectly and after completing design we'll be able to see that if they have any problem on a model so when everything is okay when everything is okay now i'll go elevation and here i'll go apply and here you can see we right click here it's showing 5.68 reinforcement see so if i go here over it and our uh unbalanced length ratio that is also okay uh this is better if this value is less than one and it should be less than one actually perfect for perfect one and everything is okay and if we go for interaction diagram so here we can see uh they have some issue they have some issue with our reinforcement okay and uh, actually we'll not consider nothing now just we are we're just giving a randomly check of our model the rest of it is okay or not okay so here i'll go for next uh almost everything is okay and here uh almost everything is okay but here we can see here we we need huge reinforcement so if i just right click here it's giving us for our this combination see if i go for details you see for that combo it's giving us uh huge reinforcement okay i'll just close that and if i go for interaction diagram and uh for interaction from interaction diagram we're seeing that this uh here dc ratio are almost dc ratio are almost uh 0.999 that means almost one so we have to consider that section and before that we'll go for overrides and this is also okay so our unbreast length ratio and also our unbreast uh, length ratio for measure 0.85 this is also okay and, and obviously uh, if you face any problem like uh, your unbalanced length ratio is more than one or actually if uh, less than two then sometimes okay but if this value is more than two then they have some issue with your model so i'm just closing that this is very important and just see if i manually change that value 
suppose 3 or suppose 3 now see the magic okay and see every every section are failing why they have some issue like uh, 52 over stress 52 and over stress 5 so what is the issue actually see if i click here if i go for details and column force column factor factor axial load exist euler force that means your critical force i mean your applied force are more than your critical force so it's not applicable and also for 52 if i go sorry cancel for 52 if i go here uh, for details just see here delta ns exist 1.4 okay so uh, for that you have to see for sa3 1 8 14 6.2.6 and 6.6.4.5.1 6 section for the details so just see for the simple change it is giving us huge reinforcement so i'm just cancelling okay uh i think almost everything is okay but here we're seeing some member are failing here our floor beam these are failing uh over stress due to over stress 45 that means due to i mean our uh shear force and torsion are failing together so if i go here and we have considered torsion perfectly and if we increase that section from 21 to 20 uh, 20 uh, 12 to 21 then uh, even this is not okay actually so uh, maybe we have to apply our property modifier perfectly we have to check our building perfectly and after that we'll come here actually okay so what i'll do now i'll unlock now and uh, if i go here and verify all member passed so 22 concrete member failed yes then right click show selected object only and to go here for 3d view just see this only particular beam okay dot of particular beam here this beam are failing why this beam are failing because this beam are failing load from that beam okay so if i just go here just see this two beam are taking load from that beam and that beam that's it it's need more demand oh sorry we need to uh, increase its more capacity i will just okay i will uh, not consider now because that is a, a preliminary uh, design check and uh, we have just observed that what is the condition of rest structure finally now we'll go for our next final step i'll unlock it right click and show all object done so everything okay now what we have to do actually we'll go for select now we'll apply property modifier select then object type first of all we'll select all beam okay. otherwise all columns so for analysis period for analysis period if i just open a open some value so uh, this is the property modifier chart or stiffness modifier chart by using that chart we can provide this value so here you can take its screenshot actually here for beam okay so you can see here for beam 0.35 iz iz means moment of initial okay as per ACI code here then uh, for columns 0 0.7 then for walls 
if this is it's considered as uncracked that means it will behave like as columns so that will be also 0 0.7 ig and the walls if we behave like a cracked section then it will behave like a beam so 0 0.35 like that and all for share only not applicable and for slabs so there are some people who make mistake here uh, for general slab they also provide property modifier but for only for flat plates and flat flaps we have to provide property modifier this is 0 0.25 ig so they have another chart by using that chart we can uh, consider that very clearly or we can do it more clearly so here you yes, see uh, chart for using stiffness modifier in a structural analysis and design so for service condition 0 0.5 ecig and for ultimate conditions 0 0.35 ecig okay so for service condition by using that value we'll go for analysis and by using that value we'll go for design okay so uh, if we uh, go this way then our structure will be more safe and more economical here all value are provided so i'll follow this chart this is according to sa3 on 8 14 so i'll provide that value i'll go to eight apps and here i'll select all columns so i'll not select column because for columns uh here for column service condition everything is one okay that's why i'll not not go for it and for beam is 0.5 for beams only i need to change one thing here for beam because they have no uh i'm using normal to a slab with beam column arrangement so this is not a flat plate or flat flat slab or flat plates okay that's why they have no requirement of that uh property modifier for slab and also i'm not using any alls or wires that's why no need to change also that value so only i'll provide 0 0.5 i'll go for uh, for i'll select beam i'll select software selecting all of our beam member i'll go assign then i'll go uh frames and from frames i'll go section uh, property modifier and here we'll provide all of that value 0 0.5 moment 0 0.5 and also for top frame 0 0.5 so this is the way to do that okay this is the way to do that only we'll change that p factor value here so I'll click apply then okay so we have done applying our value okay now everything is okay we are ready for okay before that i need to check something right click and uh, auto mesh yes we have done auto mesh so we have done everything before our model jake so i will just again go for run analysis and after analysis I'll, actually they have uh, some issue with our the um, bottom floor with diaphragm so uh, i can ignore that it's from my experience i can ignore that because uh, i have done a silly mistake there so i'll okay okay so done uh we have completed our analysis actually now we will start checking our model as per our code so we need to check our model i mean we need to check some major uh, things for our model okay so one by one we'll start it and if you think, think that this uh, tutorial series are going well and if you think that think that this is uh, informative for you or you are la learning something then you can help us uh, by joining as a member uh, that link given in description and also 
you will uh, uh, we're requesting you to sub subscribe our channel and also like our video and never forget to comments and share that lecture series with your friends